Hi guys, it's Andy the GD Script Dude with another video in the Tetron game development series. This time we will make some changes to the GUI to add sliders in place of the on off buttons for music and sound. This will allow us to change the volume from 0 dBs, which is maximum volume, down to minus 24 dBs, which will cut off the music or the sound. As we move the sliders around, they emit signals which will be connected to the main script. The first thing to do is go to the GUI scene and select the check buttons for music and sound and change the node type to horizontal slider. and change the range values with a min value of minus 24 dB and the max value of 0 dB. Now we need an HBox container so that we can add a label of text next to the slider. Select a label node and move it into position after naming it. and give it give the label some text and we note the the slider itself has collapsed so we need to make it expand by going into the constants for sizes click on expand and then it expands to fill the available space and do the same for the sound slider Next we will go to the node panel and connect the value changed signal to the GUI script. This inserts callback functions which has the value of the slider passed to them. Let's cut and paste the emit signal code for the button press signal from our previous button down function handlers and paste this into our new callback functions for the movement of the sliders which accept the value of the slider. and delete the unwanted button down functions. Now we will store the music volume value to the music property of the script. And we will store the sound value into the, the sound property. And we don't need the setter and getter functions for these properties anymore, so we'll delete those. And remove unwanted warning ignore statements. So we finished the changes to our new simplified GUI script and we can move on to editing the main script. In the main script when the music slider is changed it emits the signal of button pressed with the name of music. So we want to change the music handler in the code and where we have if GUI dot music instead of it being a boolean it is now the db value so if it's greater than minus 24 we want to play otherwise we want to stop playing and we do a similar thing in the case of sound
Now let's make some changes to the music handling function. So we make some changes to the logic and we need to update the volume of the playback and then if we're not playing then start playing. Let's replace the hard-coded minus 24 dB number with a constant. For debugging it's useful to output the values of the volume level changes, so let's add those in. So now we've finished our code changes and we can test our scene. We can move the sliders around and observe the messages appearing in the output window. So we play a new game and then we see the messages saying it's starting or stopped playing. Then adjust the sliders to change the values and turn the music off by making the slider fully to the left or start playing again by moving it to the right. Now to actually play music we need to import a suitable music file into our project. So Godot supports the OGG Vorbis format. You could produce these files by conversion from MP3 using a tool such as Audacity or any audio converter. So we drag and drop the music file into the stream property of our audio stream player. So now we can play music and adjust its levels within the game. That's the end of this video. I hope to see you again soon in the next one. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye.